do you believe in our ability to leverage science in the sense that there's all of these uh, new technological um, methodologies that exist, including fMRI, EEG, uh, EKG, um, uh, the samples of the microbiome. Do you believe in our ability to, to have a biometric correlate to a non-dual state of awareness? What, what would a, a biometric correlate, correlate look, look like? like? Yes. Yeah, yeah. So it would be something like a, like, uh, for example, with brain, it would be like a connectome harmonic. And so that would be like the total of all of your uh, chemo electroconnectomics are in a harmonic state of resonance. Um, maybe with your heart, it would be that you have a higher heart rate variability versus a lower heart rate variability for something that's more stressed in that sense. So there are these biomarkers for cortisol or there are these biomarkers for, for, for more blissful or meditative or peaceful states of consciousness, states of awareness. So do you see science potentially helping with a, with a biometric correlate of a more awakened, uh, aware, enlightened states of being? Science may discover correlates that um, indicate the one's state of mind. But whether they will help, whether those discoveries will actually help in the recognition we're speaking of, I, I, I am I'm not so sure. It, it's... If, if, if you were so optimistic earlier, <laughs> no, no, I am very optimistic. I, I just, I just don't feel that that these um, correlates that scientists may or may not find in the brain are helpful, either as indicators or, more importantly, as means yeah. to the recognition of our true nature. If we look, if we want some measure of the indication of some measure of our establishment in our true nature. I'm not sure that looking at a brain scan is the place uh, to, to look. We should look to the extent to which we are at peace and happy for no reason. That would be a better test. Imperturbable peace yes. and causeless joy. Ooh, imperturbable peace and causeless joy. Adore that. Yeah. Well, because, yeah, and, and go ahead. Norm, th this, to recognize the nature of ourself is, is so simple, Alan. It, it's been mystified yeah. and complexified and, and obscured, not by the founders of the great religious and spiritual traditions, but by their followers who did not understand or only partially understood their teaching. All that is necessary to go back to the beginning of our conversation is, is this metaphorical undressing, this, this uh, um, removing. It's not even necessary to remove our thoughts, feelings, activities, and relationships. All it is, in other words, it's not necessary to change our experience or manipulate it in any way. All that is necessary is to see that element of ourself which cannot be taken away from us, to see that which is essential to us, not our thoughts, not our feelings, sensations, perceptions, activities, relationships. All of these appear and disappear on the screen of awareness. But the awareness is the, the essential and irreducible nature of ourself. And th this is something that is simple everyone can recognize it simply by virtue of the fact that everyone is aware and everyone can, can simply it's not as i said it's not necessary to reject the content of experience all that is necessary is to relax the focus of our attention from its content yeah and just just relax back into the fact of being aware which is the the ever present and inherently peaceful background of all experience that, that's all. 
And to begin with, that this background of awareness, it, it seems to be a, a place that we visit from time to time, and then we get lost in the content of experience again. But in time, it ceases, the, the back and forth between the background of awareness and the foreground of experience ceases, and we begin to be what Christian men are called, we begin to be established, established in our true nature. We cease just to visit from time to time the, the peace of yeah. the background. We, we live there. We abide there. We still face experience. We still have to deal with our, our everyday experience. But everything we think and feel and in time our subsequent activities and relationships are informed by and are an expression of this background of of peace and unconditional yes. joy. Yes, I love that. Always a work in progress in the sense of always becoming more and more established. And I think that's, that's, that's very important in, um, in <clears throat> making it easier for people to feel like it's not a far off thing. Yes. Um, yeah, no, yeah, yeah. Not only is it not a far off thing, yeah. our, our being is... Yeah is closer to us than our most intimate and precious feelings. It is not even close to us. It, it is us. Yeah. Yeah. And, and getting, the, getting our entire world on that closer, 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 and hopefully we have been over time getting time, getting closer and closer to that. And then, and then being your unique artistry, um, from that is, uh, I think the, the the general essence of where we are, uh, got in in much of this. Yes, yeah. yes. All, all of us uh, who who are interested in these matters, you and I, and all your viewers, and, and yours we as all well. uh, express our understanding, such as it is, in a way that is unique to us. You know, I, I do it through speaking and writing. I, I used to do it in, in my, my studio. But there, there are so many ways. So many ways. Uh, eight billion. Eight billion ways. Some of them um, require a lot of form, a lot of content. They involve speaking or writing or, or all your lovely drawings on yeah. the wall behind. <laughs> Other people may not express this understanding in form. That They may just abide uh, just mm. rest yeah in being and they, they they are the ones that that um communicate that this understanding silently yes and i'm sure that we all know yes and th what it's like to 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 be in the company of someone who is at ease who is at peace yes who, who does not feel that they lack anything, ir irrespective of how wealthy or impoverished they may be, how, how powerful it is to be in the company of, of such a person, and how when we go home, we, we feel somehow blessed just by being with them. We may have chatted about the weather or politics or dinner, or we may not have spoken directly about these matters, as you and I have done, and they may such people may never speak directly about these matters, but they communicate this yes. understanding silently and, and, and that their communication, their contribution to humanity is just as valuable as those of us that yes. um, express this understanding in more formalized ways, like, like you yes. and I and yes. numerous others. And, and as, as we say in, in music, what makes music music is the silence between the notes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah.